Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mike from Mobox Graphics and you are probably a Patreon subscriber over at the Real Engineering Patreon channel. Um, if you're not, you're watching this a month later on YouTube. So uh, what we're gonna be looking at here today is some a little bit behind the scenes of the VFX used in the Real Engineering video regarding GPS systems. So uh, this animation was pretty simple looking, but if you understand the limitations of After Effects, you'll know that it did take a little bit of rigging to do. So um, we're just gonna take you behind the scenes. Let us know in the comments down below if you prefer more complex um, animation breakdowns or if this kind of stuff is good enough for you. So anyways, let's just get into After Effects here and take a look. So uh, here we are in After Effects and you'll notice that we have this Earth animation and we have kind of this satellite spinning around and then we have the real engineering background. So uh, the way this is rigged up is you can spin this Earth and you can spin the satellite around it. It's pretty simple. The satellite is just kind of um, connected to the Earth. But here is the tricky part in After Effects is that this is actually, it's actually a flat um, plane. So uh, After Effects is not a really strong, I'd say, um, three-dimensional or 3D, you know, editing program. Um, you can do 3D, but you notice that all of these shapes are actually 2D shapes on a 2D plane that are then rotated in 3D. So um, luckily After Effects does have some cool plugins that makes um, kind of getting an earth uh, you know, right, it makes it so it actually looks like an Earth. So what we actually start out with is we start out with a map of Earth. So if we open up this here, comp, uh, you'll see that we have this anim or this this Earth uh, composition. It's just basically a map of the Earth. And when you use a built-in plugin called CC Sphere, it makes it appear like it's a sphere. And on this CC Sphere, you can if I just delete these um, formulas, you can spin the earth and you can rotate the earth. But if we look in in the three dimensional space, you'll see that it's not actually spinning the earth. It's just make, giving it the illusion that it's spinning. So what we're able to, to do is we're able to leverage this, this artificiality in After Effects to our advantage. Um, to rig up a system that allows you to, with a simple controller, spin what appears to be the Earth and what appears to be a satellite surrounding Earth. So, um, as anything that you'll probably see in engineering or, or in your day-to-day -day life, if the planet is spinning clockwise and the whole system is also spinning clockwise, then the Earth would be spinning at whatever speed it's spinning plus whatever speed the system is spinning. So. What's great about this, you can actually change the satellite orbit speed and the Earth spin speed here by just moving around these keyframes. So the tighter this is, the faster the satellite will spin around, around the planet. Just room, lower the resolution here. Um, and if you drag this keyframe out, it's much slower. So it's just a really, really simple way to, to change the speed of the satellite. And of course it just continues speeding using some formulas. Uh, the same is true with the earth. If I just bring this down, the earth will spin incredibly fast. So this would be days that you're seeing go by instead of minutes or hours. I actually like when this is pulled out farther. Um, don't tell Brian, uh, we should have probably slowed down the earth a little bit. I just love the speed of, of just a slow um, uh, hulking, Earth just spinning really slowly. I just think it looks ominous and it looks really cool. So um, <laughs> let's now let's now take a look at what happens when we add some rotation here. So um, I could spin this system using keyframes, and you'll see that the whole system will spin continuously, and it will take into account the spin of the planet as well as the spin of the satellite. So again, all of these rigs are just based on simple, simple geometries and simple additions of angles. So you see here when we open these up, it just, it just takes the summation of certain angles to give you um, what it would appear to be a spinning earth in flat space. So let me again move over, the, move over into 3D space here and show you kind of what we're doing when we are rotating this object. So the, the ring here, the satellite, is again a 2D plane rotating in 3D space, but we have to then simulate that rotation on a 2D simulation or 2D projection of a globe 
um, that's really just sitting in 2D space. Um, if I actually rotated this Earth, you would see that it's just a disk spinning and that's not the effect that you want. So you definitely have to utilize the properties of the rotation on the CC sphere to get the look that you're looking for. But uh, again, this is just a rig um, that can be used in any application. A lot of people will ask um, commonly on my YouTube channel why I rig things up. And the reason why you want to rig things up for professional projects like this is that way we can take this composition and use it many, many times and you just simply adjust these little rigged controls. It took time to do, but if you just, if you just put in the time early, um, you'll save so much time later and, and Brian doesn't have to dig through and, and mess with a hundred different keyframes. There's just two keyframes. Um, he doesn't have to time things up saying, oh, well, the earth is spinning and the system spinning. So what should, you know, how should the whole thing speed spin with the, should the speed do? Don't worry about that. Just rig it up. And, um, and yeah, it takes longer, but it gives you this really great effect. So let me just show you kind of one of the animations we did in the video. So we took this earth and we had it scale from zero, um, quickly up to 100 or let's say maybe 80, um, eh, maybe we'll give it 90. And this thing, we like the rotation, so we're just gonna take these keyframes over, we're just gonna move them over. And, but we're gonna have this thing spin like, really come from like a really weird angle. So you see, just by adjusting those keyframes, we kind of have the whole system come into place, almost as if the Earth, you know, you're flying towards Earth um, at uh, close to the speed of light, or just really fast. So let's take a look at what this looks like. And it really, you know, again, it's, it's, if you look at this in 2D space, you're going to say that looks totally ridiculous. Um, but in 3D space, or I'm sorry, in 3D space, it looks crazy, but in 2D space, it looks totally cool. So from here, then you could change the position. So in one of the animations, we have, um, the whole system now, um, going from this position, and we scaled it down, we move the position over, we just move the controller. To about there, and we had this thing kind of spin down and create a full spin like that. So again, if we just add some smoothing here, you'll see what kind of effect we get. So again, it looks pretty cool. It looks nice and smooth. Um, it really adds a great effect. You know, you could do this in 2D. You could, you know, have some have some special, um, you know, type of art style. But I think that this worked really well with the real engineering um, art style. And overall, it gave a really cool effect. Anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, let us know in the comments down below if this is kind of something that you want to see in the future, as well as do you want to see kind of more in-depth looks or do you want to, um, or is this kind of high level good for you? Um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we appreciate your support on Patreon and we appreciate your support on Real Engineering. Anyways, guys, this has been Mike from Obox. Thanks for watching.